Alola Internet, I'm Mr. Bob, and you are back for some more Pokemon Moon, and guys, we are almost all the way through the Elite Four. Uh, we have, uh, Kahili. A few years ago, I was champion of the Island Challenge, too, just like you. I've been traveling the world to improve my skill as both a trainer and as a golfer. When I heard that they made a Pokemon League of my own home region, I came flying back to serve Alola. I have a look of my fantastic flying team. Oh, okay, so she was not actually here. She actually left Alola after winning all of them. That's just weird. That's just weird. I gotta say, the golfer thing? Flying golfer. Well, lead four member, flying golfer. This is probably the strangest, the strangest thing I've ever seen. Oh, did I send out rat? I did. She's gonna burn. She's gonna burn so bad. Isn't that right, Rathian? Man, I threw that out on a hunch last time. Flamethrower. Burn her. Burninating. She's gonna lose to me and my cow pants. Oh, I forgot they have sturdy. Darn it. She's gonna heal. Spikes. Oh, shoot. Of course. She gets a free spikes, basically. Flamethrower. Thought so. Thought so. I'm not gonna let her get away with it. Nope, not gonna let her get away with it. I'm gonna burn her. Full. Restores. Waste them all. I know you're gonna waste them all. I am gonna keep using Flamethrower until you're actually dead. Because I know I'm gonna have to keep doing it. Flamethrower, burn! Are you dead this time? It's effective, I know you can do it. Skarmory actually fainted. Alright, sweet. Now, Rathian gained quite a lot of XP. I'm about to send in a Mandibuzz. Now, she's gonna have something on me for sure. Otherwise, she would not have switched for that, but it's Dark Flying. Um. How about Retro? We're gonna use a fairy move. We're gonna play rough this thing. Really running out of those. I'm gonna have to use some Leopard Berries after this fight. Prepare for the champion? Is it Kukui? That makes no sense. The professor is the champion of the region. Hurt by spikes. Play rough. And smack him. I can't believe Mimikyu is so awesome in this game. Super effective, that is not that much. Man, it you flatter. Oh no. Ah, uh, shoot. Special attack, Rose. Uh, it's worthless, too, and I'm confused. Darn it. Play rough, please. Just knock it out. Mimikyu, come on. You can do this, buddy. Yes. Not seeing through your lies. Manabuzz is down. And that is two of five. Critical hit. It would have been awesome if you did that last turn. Once again, that always happens to me. My luck is terrible in this game sometimes. Well, says the guy with the full team of shinies, but whatever. About to send in a two cannon. I need to do this, okay? Even though wait no, I have I'm a flying type. Does the spikes hurt me? I know I'm hurting my entire team. Come on, you fly, right? You don't get hurt by spikes. Yes, I don't get hurt by spikes. Oh, who's angry toucan is the angriest of all the angry, colorful, fruity toucans. Mine? Mine? M -m 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 mine, 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 mine. If we both you both use Beak Blast, what happens? I thought so. What if we both use Beak Blast? That means that it goes first. I dodged it. And Beak Blast. Boom! Oh, okay, sweet. Now, um... But if he uses Beak Blast again and I hit it with a Drill Peck, I'm gonna get burned. Full Restore. Nope. But, this is going to do a crap load of damage to it, which is going to be super helpful, but I got a feeling it's going to do another Beak Blast on us, and it is going to hit first because I'm faster. Beak Blast is going to make me slower, so it, it, it inverts everything. So, um, I'm going to go Drill Peck again. I'm going to risk the burn. Screech! That was a waste. Oh, man, she could have got a free burn on me, but she did not want to take it. Two Cannon is down. Awesome. Can I have the flying gem? I've been waiting this entire game to put it on Papaya, and I couldn't do it. Like, I wanted to do it in the very beginning of the game, but I never got the flying gem. Uh, or a Corio. Random. Which one does she have? Maybe it's the ghost one? I don't know. But, um... Let's stay in. Come on, Papaya needs some screen time. It's the fire type one. Okay. Um... Hmm... Beak Blast really wouldn't do a thing, so Drill Peck for the stab. 
Teeter Dance, I'm confused. Oh no. Man, Oricorio was faster than me? Apparently it was. Oricorio has confused me and Drill Peck anyway. Smack. Almost enough. Almost enough. Um It's probably gonna heal, so how about a Fury Attack? Just to try it. Feather Dance, no, she's confident that. She is very confident in the fact that I'm gonna hit myself here. Confused? Yeah, I did. At least I don't hit myself five times, right? Right? Fury attack. Oh, come on now. Come on. Come on. Teeter dance. Already confused. Papaya, you got this. Papa no, Papaya! Hurt yourself with confusion. Papaya, you got fury attacks. Come on, you can do this. Horikoyo, feather dance. Lower the attack more. Harshly fell. Confused. Fury attack. They avoided the attack. What? That Orcorio is amazing, isn't it? Teeter dance. Already confused. Snap that confused fury attack. What actually happened then? I don't know, but apparently I did have to hit twice. Wasn't just one. Hit two times. Orcorio fainted. Paya got a lot of XP from that, which is awesome. Rathian grew to 57. There you go, Rathian. Sending the Crobat. Crobats are cruel. But if more if I switch, there are still spikes on the field. Let's remember that. Got to fight to the better end. Got to stick in here. Papaya. Um, honestly, I say Beak Blast. Because it's going to be faster than us anyway. Just heat the beak up. Super Sonic. Nice. All right, sweet. Beak Blast. Boom. Apparently, she's... Oh, she's playing dirty. No, 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 no. Oh, is my computer okay? Okay. Everything's moving. All right. Whew. Everything froze on my computer, so just in case, I'm gonna switch recordings. Alright guys, now hopefully all is fine from that. But anyway, I was noticing while waiting here for a second, because I was coughing a lot for some reason after that. Um, if we get another shot of her, yeah, look. She's kneeling down looking as if she's putting, but she's holding her driver. Whatever. I mean, I guess, you know, most of these people playing these games you're designing these probably have not gone golfing themselves. Whatever. Or seen any golf, I guess, at all. Though it's possible that you can use a driver, like, when you're in the fringe area to try and, like, very chip the ball just a little bit over the fringe and then let it roll on the green. It's possible. Well, I don't know. But, um, usually that never happens. It's a very rare occasion when someone feels like showing off and doing that. But, anyway, I doubt that's what they were thinking. <laughs> when she happens to be holding her driver and kneeling down. Drill pack, come on. This is not the time to be confused and smacking yourself, Papaya. There you go. More damage. I told you guys earlier, Crobats are freaking tanky and they're fast. And they hit really hard. They're some of the best Pokemon ever. Like, they're ridiculous. Ow. And I'm a critical hit. I was going to say, that shouldn't kill me. But it did, unfortunately. Um, Fear. Fear for the speed, because I can hit it. I know it's going to resist it a lot, but if I use first impression, that might be enough to kill it. Sucker Punch would be better. Sucker Punch is a better option. No, it can confuse me. Oh, no. Yes, dodged it. Okay, that was what I needed. Oh, shoot. Now I gave up my first impression. Liquidation. That's all I got left. Supersonic. Dodged it again. Wow. Liquidation. Now my nose is running. I was coughing so much. Seriously, it was like, it was some painful coughing. Oh my gosh. Wow. Excuse me. Oh. Fear grew to 60. Freaking 5. Nice. Rest of your team gain experience points. Retro grew to 62. Awesome. And we have defeated. It's frustrating to me as a member of the Elite Four, but it seems her strength is real deal. I was trying to say her name there, but I couldn't even read it in time because I don't remember who she is. Gotta say, her best move right there was using spikes in the beginning with the Skarmory when I was sturdy. Get a free spikes on the board. So anyway, you know, I think you bring a breath of fresh air to the Alola battle scene. I honestly was honestly annoyed that Kukui left or kept pestering me to come here, but I'm glad I did. I'm kind of surprised that it wasn't actually um, that Hapu lady who actually became a Kahuna at the very end of that, but... Still, I guess it was people who have beaten the challenge, but then did the ghost girl beat it at all? I don't know, it seems like kind of thrown together and awkward. Just saying. Kukui is no longer there. 
Something weird is going down. Sorry, Papaya. I'm gonna heal you right up. That was my bad. I thought you'd have been fine. But he critical hit us at the very end of that fight, which really stunk. Um, Retro, here you go. Give you final heals there as well. And Fear. There we go. Sweet. Now, back in the battle, I got Salazzle up front. You know, just in case. I am kind of worried. We're going to save. I don't know what we're going to get hit with. I have no idea what type. I don't know what... Probably a mixed type. I don't know. But we're about to now see the champion of Alola. Whoever that might be. Nobody. Oh, were we fighting to become the champion? I guess that makes sense. So, we're already champion. Yay! That was weird. I'm going to sit there. Yeah, yeah. See? I am the champion. You're kidding, right? Oh, yeah. Now you're the Pokemon League champion. Wouldn't it be nice if that was that simple? I thought so. Truth is, there's one more person you have to battle if you want that title. And, of course, that trainer is me. I thought so. And one final hurrah for your island challenge. As a special tribute as you and this Pokemon League embark on a new path. Let's have a battle worthy of this moment. And you're like, oh, I guess I'll stand up, you know, and battle the professor? Who's the champion? Oh! Oh my gosh, it's a remake from the first game! Oh, team of six. Challenge by Pokemon Professor Kukui. Oh my gosh, this is awesome! He's got the other Lycanroc. Kind of weird. Not good for us at the moment. Obviously, because of our fire. Not going to be doing any good for that. And honestly, it might even be knocking us out with that. I could still be a jerk and hit with a Toxic just because it's going to basically cripple it. Oh, but it's faster than us. Ow! Okay. That's not good. Um... We're already off to a horrible start. Um, Unity, I'm gonna need your help. Oh uh, no. We could use um, Aqua Ring first, and then use that Unity trick and just try and pummel him. Because I'm pretty sure he's not gonna have too much on a water Pokemon, plus I'm at full HP. Aqua Ring, I think, is the way to go. Stealth Rock, darn it. It's using a setup too. Pointed, pointed stones are floating in the air. Great. Surround itself in a veil of water. We gotta get rid of this lagging rock now. Aqua Tail. He's the... Oh, Stone Edge! Oh. Aqua Tail. Boom! Yep, did not think that thing was gonna survive at all. But it's faster than us. Of course, almost everything's gonna be faster than us now. Oh my gosh, it's the original Pokemon theme remake. This is awesome. I don't know if he deserves it. But it's awesome. Uh, let me have this... Magnazone. Um. How did we take this out before? We did this really easily before. Didn't we? Um. Salazzle's down. No. Switch Pokemon. It is weak to fighting. And Kieran might actually be the winner here. I think it's Kieran. But pointed stone. Shoot, I'm going to start getting damage from that. But I give up Unity if Unity stays in. Unity's going to lose. I'm sorry, man, I must have coughed up. Like, oh my gosh, I don't know what happened to me, I'm sorry. Komowo, unfortunately, is going to take damage from the Stealth Rock. But I think it can take down the, um... Magnazone. With one shot of a Brick Break. Maybe. It is faster. Boom! Not even close. Thunder Wave! And I know this thing does not love me nearly like all the other Pokemon, so I'm not going to get all those cheap moves on me. Kieran is paralyzed, but all Kieran needs to do is one more brick break, and you're done, Kieran. That's all you got to do. Flash cannon. Uh-oh. It's faster because of paralysis. Ow! Come on, you just need one more. Brick break. Yes! Slap! All right, that's only two of his Pokemon down. Two. Just two. All right, we can still do this. We got this. Kugui's about to send in a nine tails. Uh, what kind of nine tails? He said he went to Kanto. What kind of nine tails? Um, it's got to be Ice type. He's switching it in for me. It's Fairy. It's it's Fairy Ice. Switch Pokemon. 
Fairy ice, fairy ice. What do I do for a fairy ice? Um. Um, I have I am fighting, but I'm too slow right now. Um. Shoot. Fairy and ice. I don't think I have anything on that. Like my Rathian's KO'd. Darn it. I needed Rathian for this fight, it seems. Where did it Pokemon come from? I didn't know, like, oh my gosh. This guy came out of nowhere. You know what? Um, fear. Bring it in fear. Um, I think I'm just gonna first impression this thing and go from there. We'll see how much damage we can do. Oh gosh, sends in nine tails. Oh, it's glorious. But, ow! I, a stealth rock is really starting to hurt. Um, first impression. I'm gonna leech life after this. We gotta heal. Constant heals. Oh, that was not good enough. Dazzling Gleam. Please stay in fear. Stay in fear. Did I not? Oh, I did not give fear another. Oh, Citrus Berry. I forgot. Oh, shoot. Um, fear's out, which means we gotta switch for somebody else. Then the pointed stones are in the air. Maybe it's gonna work if I use Papaya? That Stealth Rock is gonna kill us. That's gonna be the death of us. Oh, it still hurts Papaya. All right, so we're gonna fight with, um... It's Ice-type. Why did I do that? Oh. Now this was a bad idea. Drill Pack, we gotta be quick. Gotta be quick. Ninetale Blizzard missed. Oh, nice. That was necessary. That was necessary. Come on. Yeah. Ninetales is down. Huh. All right. This guy is insane. Unity grew to level 68. Braviary is coming out. Oh, you want to go? Your bird wants to go? Keep battling. Oh, your bird wants to go, does it? Fine. My 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 toucan angrily stares back at your toucan. Oh, wins in your favor, is it? You had to spend a whole team doing it, though. Now I got an attack up on you, though. Yes, that's all that matters. One more drill pack. Don't have enough to kill me. Yes! Faster! Braviary is down. Nice. How many... What's he got left? What's he got left? Kieran grew to 59. Kieran still learned Dragon Dance. You know, um... Sure. Um, uh, Poison Jab. Just get rid of that. I never used it anyway. It was just a TM to get rid of, like, Headbutt or something. Now, Kieran knows Dragon Dance. Awesome. Just in case we need that. He has two more Pokemon. Incineroar! The one that never got picked. He's got the third one. I have to stay in. I cannot keep switching. It's doing so much damage to me because that's Stealth Rock. Oh, uh, great. Wait. Um, It's dark. It is fire and dark. That doesn't help me. Um, I don't know why I said that. Drill Pack. Got to keep attacking it. Straight damage. Oh. I don't have a flying one. I'd have used it if I had it. But I don't have it. Inferno Overdrive. What? Um. <laughs> but too bad. Papaya dodged it. Papaya dodged it out of love. Papaya. Papaya did. Papaya did, son. Papaya did. Okay. Um. What do I do now? Unity. Unity, you're going to take way too much damage from being out here, but I don't have a choice. You've got to get your, um, oh my. Point stones dug in his unity. Unity still has schooling. I got a feeling we should actually heal. Like, spend this turn healing. I know it sounds weird, but look at our party right now. Hyper Potion, how many we got? Six. Um. That's fine. That's what I need. I'll do what I need. Don't have a lot of them, but, um, heh <laughs> heh. We'll manage. We're gonna have to. HP restored through all the bits. How much do we got? Darkest Lariat. Now, I can already tell you that move is not that strong, but... <laughs> Thing looks stupid. Well, whatever. I guess that clearly didn't matter. Um... Hydro Pump? You didn't need Hydro Pump! Avoiding it! Oh, come on! What? Oh, man! Unity schooling is gonna send it back into a normal form. Great. Unity stopped schooling. Bag. Hyper Potion. Come on, Unity. Stay in this mode. 
Wait, when is schooling take effect? Thrill to bits. Oh, it gets this anyway. That was the one you had to dodge there, Unity. Unity schooling is now back into its crazy mode. And I'm at full HP. Unity formed a school. Come on, this is important. Hydro pump. Hydro pump. Avoid that. What? Hydro pump. You need to land. Come on, it's not doing that much damage, but you have to land hydro pump. Thank you. Why does it miss all the time? Oh my gosh. That was even overkill. Probably could have killed it just with a straight Aqua Tail. Unity gained a lot of XP. Everybody else did as well. One more Pokemon has a Snorlax. I'm going to stay in. Let's see. Um, most of our team is knocked out, so a beat up is obviously a bad idea here. I'm out of Hydro Pumps. Aqua Ring or Aqua Tail, I think, is our only way to go. We just got to do as much damage as we possibly can here. And wow, is it enough. Uh oh. That could send me back into normal mark. It's not. Aqua Tail, please land. You land, that's the game. That's the game! And that is it. Kukui is down. Landed a critical hit, wouldn't be quick. They always do that on the turns, it doesn't matter. Oh my gosh. You defeated Pokemon Professor Kukui. I couldn't win even though I went all out, but what a refreshing feeling. hi yi yi you earned a lot of money for winning. But, uh, you know, I'm not surprised that he lost to Lance, because I was going to say Lance was a lot harder than that guy. But, he still did a number on our team. Not saying he was not an awesome champion, but still, kind of weird. Amazing. It's like I told you before, the strongest moves you can use are the ones a trainer and their Pokemon choose together in the heat of the moment is what really counts. Right, like, Hydro Pump. Hydro Pump. Hydro Pump. Thank you. Like that? Or like the Z move that I never got to use. Oh. And you just proved me right. Congrats, cousin. You're a champion we can all be proud of. Told you, didn't I? Up there on Mount Hunakalini, Hunakalani or whatever. Man, the Pokemon and the trainers in Alola really are the best. Want everyone in the world to know that too. That's always been my dream. Is it freezing in here or what? And right here and right now, it finally came true. It's all thanks to you, hamster. You and your Galissapod. What? Oh, yeah. He had something to do with this, too. But, um, he just happened to be up front right now. Because Salazzle, you one-shotted. And honestly, I really needed that Salazzle for that fight. So happy I got to battle you and your team here, right where my dreams came true. And now, Hamster, first ever champion of the Alola Pokemon League. I thought you were the champion. It's time we record you and your beloved team's achievement for eternity. You know, to, like, keep from spoiling for the player that he was the champion. He should not have stood in the middle. Because I, I felt like I knew then. I was like, oh, Kuku's was champion. Rathian, our shiny Salazzle. Fear, our shiny Galissapod. Oh, this is awesome. Wishy-washy, shiny Unity. I had it backwards. Mimikyu, shiny Retro. I had it backwards again. Our Kieran, shiny como -Oh. I goofed this so bad. And Papaya, our shiny Toucanon. I love our team. I love our team so much. They're all so great. I'm wearing my cow shorts, and I look like such a goob. Congratulations. You are Lola's first ever champion. Well, I'm sure that's not true, because there were so many people who got to this point before me. But still, holy cow, this was an amazing ride. We have so many awesome shinies here to go for. Yeah, random yeah is going on in there. So many awesome shiny Pokemon we were able to hunt. And a really awesome game as well. But obviously it's not over. There's always a lot of um, extra back matter stuff that goes on in Pokemon after, you know, post-game. Oh, nice stamp. There's places we could go, obviously, as the champion that they did not let us go before. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, where'd you go? Even though you're not really a Kahuna. I don't know why you're here. You've entered the Hall of Fame. Spectacular. Much as the sun shines upon the moon, illuminating it so you have... Wait, so have the friends you made during your challenge illuminated your life. You've grown so much. Oh. You really do love your Pokemon with all your heart, don't you, Hamster? Yeah, that's precisely why he and his Pokemon were able to combine that strength to emerge victorious. Now we're all going to be aiming for your seat. Hope you're ready for some rivals. My cow pants just won the Elite <laughs> Four. My first ever champion of your little Pokemon League. I love how they zoomed down on the cow pants. 
but celebrate so grandly that even the sun and moon themselves will take notice. That's silly. Aren't you in particular freezing here? Actually, both of you. Both of you need to put some pants on. I'm sure it's freezing in here. All right, hamster. Let's bust a U-turn for Melimeli Island. All right. We're going to give a big festival in Icky Town. Don't worry. I'll be sure to let Lily know, too. And, oh, yeah, remember, you have a mom, and you abandoned her as soon as you moved here. Just saying. She's probably very lonely right now. Mom, did you even see any of my shinies? We're doing... Oh, no, it's you! Oh, yeah, the, um... The uh, trial people that I actually thought was kind of creative. Yeah, them in the beginning of the game. And then they started getting lazy later. But still, I guess the, the rest of the game is still really cool too, but I don't know. Now I got mixed feelings about the game. It started off really great. And after a while, it's like, uh, they were starting to use repeated formulas. They were pretty good. I liked them. They, they were pretty creative and different. Like, keep using the trial thing and always surprising me with it. And then later they were like, nah, whatever. Like, the worst was when they literally gave up. And the fairy per I can't get over this. The fairy person literally just walks up to you and goes, Here you go. And leaves. Like, oh, that's just sad. But this is really cool. Everyone is here now at the same time. Supposedly someone was telling me in the blue person, the water one, is that actually a girl? No, I, I don't know. They're all like awkwardly the same gender sometimes. So like, Llama. Llama is a... Woman? No, girl. No, a man. Uh, llama. I don't even know what Llama is. Here he is, the Pokemon League champion from Alola. This calls for celebration, so let's all get to it. Man, we can do so much post-game stuff now. Man, I look like such a goob. Could I not be wearing this right now? Um, okay, she's awkwardly doing the how dance. Even, uh, even the chubby kid's doing it. Hey, Gladian's even here. He's not even covering his eye. Feels obligated to. Well, Lily's here too. I'm glad she's you not know, creepily out of the house. You know, I mean like creepily um freaking out some more. Oh, yes, I need Marowak dances. No, where's my Marowax? I don't need these ladies. No, I want Marowax. Get out of here. Where's my Marowax? I don't like you. Get out of here. What is even happening, honestly? Is everyone gonna do their Z dance things all at the same time? Yes, they did. <laughs> That's just kind of weird. <laughs> Oh, and he showed up anyway. <laughs> and hold it awkwardly. <laughs> hold it really awkwardly for a long time. And then just leave. No, the, the howl smile, leave. <laughs> and now it's... Actually, nighttime. Fireworks! I love to make fun of how. Oh, and um. His name's not actually Kaiway, but uh, you see him down there spinning that thing? I mean, he's, like, he's like, never stop, never surrender. But still, I don't remember. In the anime, they pronounced it differently. I don't know what it's actually supposed to Oh my god, everyone jumps like that. Just, you know, I'm excited. The excited jumping dance time. Can I please change my clothes? I was really hoping for someone to change clothes in this entire game. I have half the game I was wearing the stupid cow pants, but I guess now it's a thing. You know, I'm wearing cow pants. Hamster, congratulations on becoming a champion. It's amazing, isn't it? All these people are here just to help you celebrate this achievement, Hamster. Everyone looks so happy. The adults, the children, even the Pokemon. And you're not. It hasn't been easy, but I'm really glad that I came to Alola. Getting to meet you, Hamster. No... Wasn't just meeting you, it was traveling together with you. Well, you didn't really do that either. So glad I got to be part of the journey. You know, there's still post-game, right? There's always post-game. She's like, post-game? <laughs> hey, hamster. Looks like the party's going to keep on going strong for some time, wouldn't you say? So you think maybe we could sneak out for a second and visit the ruins of conflict? I heard from Kuna Hollow that the bridge has been fixed. Post-game starts right now. I think Tapu Koko must be waiting. I'm sure it's waiting for you to come to it, Hamster. Now that you've finished your island challenge. Ooh. Ooh. Remember all of that stuff that didn't happen? Yeah. Is Fairy Girl finally here? No, I was gonna say, she didn't even show up. Did they forget to put her here? Did they forget to put her here? She actually, did she even teach you how to use that, uh, that dance? 
I think that might have been literally all she did. She showed up, did the dance, and left. I don't even think she showed up there. But, um, okay. Post game starts now, apparently. And we got a little time for it, so why not? Now this really takes me back. Back then, I could barely think about anything. I was so desperate. But thinking back on it now, it was really Lunala. I mean, it was Nebby who brought the two of us together, wasn't it, Hamster? Come on, let's go. You know, I gotta say, probably the best thing about the character-wise in this, usually Pokemon story is, like, limited if there at all. I gotta say, they did a really good job with her, but still, how pisses me off to no end. You have no idea. I'm kidding. No, I hate how. I hate how so much. Ruins of Conflict. Now, is this just gonna be a straightaway Ruins of Conflict? Still wonder why is that Kappa Coco helped us that day? Was it because of some connection to Lunala, the legendary Pokemon of the Alone Delusion? That sounds like a really good reason it has nothing to do with just us. There was a Zygarde core, it was very obvious back there. Or not. Okay. Or not, I'll get it later. This reminds me of when Hapu became the Kahuna of Pony Island. My heart is pounding in my chest. Is it because of the Sacred Guardian? Is Top Coco here with us? If you're gonna give me some gameplay, we can find out. Unless you're just gonna force me into an encounter with it. Please don't do that. Because, you know, I just fought the champion and all. I'd love to save. Great Top Coco. It's because of your help that Cosmog lived and was able to become new Lunala. Please allow me to thank you on its behalf. Thank you so very, very much. I guess that's all there is to it. You go talk to a rock, tell it thank you, and it's time to go. Your turn next, hamster. I want to see you show your appreciation in the way that a lowless champion could. Um, I know you can do this, hamster. Make sure your team is ready, too. Wait, what? What do you mean? What do you mean? Oh. Well, thanks. You know, because I did just become the champion, and it was a while ago, and I never got to save. I want to save. Can I thank the thing? You reached out and touched the statue. Your, um, voice in your head. It's coming from your Z-ring? Oh, okay. Hi. Howdy. How's it going? Hey, I am so not ready to fight you right now. It is time. Top of go 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 You don't get a chance to save. You get one shot. Tapu Coco appeared. What? What? Oh my gosh, that's cruel. That is absolutely cruel. Electric surge. Whoa. Electric current runs across the battlefield. Um. Level 60. Um. How am I not gonna kill this thing? It is Electric Fairy, I think, so Vino Shock will kill it. Instead of uh, Flamethrower. I think. Nature's Madness. Dodge the attack. Okay, please don't do that much. Please don't crit. Don't crit because you love me. I. Uh, it would be perfect if I hit it one more time, but the thing is, if it crits because it loves me, that's it. Discharge. Dodged it because it loves me. You love me. Now, don't kill it because you love me. Because I swear. I swear. You did perfect that last time. Burn it. Burn it. I hate you! Salazzle. 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 Let's talk right now. Kak Tapu Koko disappeared. Oh my god, do I get another chance? Is there any way I can get another chance? A Z crystal will clatter to the floor at your feet. Tapunium Z. Well, now I have that for that Pokemon that I can't catch because, you know, I wanted a critical hit just because I wanted to be praised. Look what I did, Master. I did a good job. Tapakoko may have lost that battle to you, but I don't think it was sad about that. I accidentally killed it. I am sure the two you'll meet in battle again someday. Okay, good. Well, I'm so glad we can come here. I'm with my weighing on my heart. Oh, come on. I was gonna thunder wave it. Ah. Come on, hamster. We should get back to the village. If we don't return soon, everyone will realize that we slipped away from the festival. Ah. Uh. Well, that was just frustrating. That sucked. That really sucked. I re Why did they let me save? Why did they not let me save? Oh, hi, Mom. Hi. Hi, I didn't know you were here. 
Looks like everyone is having so much fun, and I don't even think they noticed we left. Well, they came for me, so I would hope so. Oh, and the battle royals are about to begin. Let me guess, you're not gonna let me save through that either. Who's that mysterious person? Um, yeah, let them go ahead and, you know, give that a shot. And he's got a Meowth. Ha! <laughs> okay. He's got better Pokemon than that, but whatever. That was definitely a woman back there. I don't know what you guys are saying, that Llama's a guy. I think you're lying. No, L Llama's a woman. That's your wife. That's your wife, dude. You finally realizing it? Is it possibly Professor Kukui? No. No. That didn't even go anywhere. That was more like just a weird extra... I don't know. I guess it didn't need to. It's Pokemon. But still, I just find it weird. Wait, did they do that and now it's over? And more jumping. Is this what the party is? People just jump for a while? Just jump. Jump. Everybody jump. Keep jumping. That's what parties are. You jump. You eat lots of sugar. You drink lots of pop. And you... Oh, and then eventually you... You know, lay down like this, and you're like, oh, so much sugar. I'm done with sugar. Hey, the music's finally over. Is this thing finally over? It's a beautiful festival, isn't it? Everyone looks so happy. Except me. You forced me to lose the legendary capture because you didn't let me save, and then Rathian had to go and make me so proud of it by killing it. It was perfect. It was perfect. Perfect! It was so close to me in my grasp! Hope that you'll always stay the way you are now, hamster. Look how your joy has brought so much light to everyone here. I think even my mother would have smiled and laughed to see this if she could have come. I think my mother is getting a bit better. She even tried to come tonight. I've been trying to help her understand what she did wrong. Gently, of course. Gently? She was you were screaming at her last time, I remember, and she deserved every bit of that because she's kind of a horrible person. But, um, that's just my opinion based on what you did, though. Uh, gently, of course, but she needed someone to scold her. Yeah, she did. But in the process, I think I've discovered what I have to do next. What, uh, what it is I can do. Well. Hamster, I'm going to... Going to what? Woohoo! Tapu Koko's dead! Who did that? Oh, yeah, it was the champion because he's stupid. And his Pokemon are just, you know, there to give him critical hits and. Ay, ay, ay. So. Wow. 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 From my own Pokemon's failings, not the game itself. Look at this! Everybody's so fired up! Whoa! You got the birth of Alola's strongest ever trainer to celebrate after all. And I'm not even from here. And I'm gonna keep training with Llama for a while then. Yeah, the Llama. Yes. Well, again, I'm gonna be my Gramps for real at last. And then, coming for you, Champion Hamster. Yeah, you try that, Hal. You try that, Hal. Hamster. Sorry, I mean champion. I'm sure everybody here wants to see your partners too. I'm gonna show us these partners that were there for so many of your discoveries, new experiences, and adventures on your island challenge. Certainly, here's the one that just murdered Tapu Koko in cold blood. Are we supposed to be looking at them? Because they're not really here. Oh man, I thought they were gonna be here. You're positively glowing. And my Pokemon did not come out. Me and my cow pants. Really? We can't even get to see them? They're like, whoa, six shiny Pokemon, whoa. Okay, I guess we didn't get to see them. Okay, Pokemon Moon. Well, I don't know what to say. Presented by Game Freak. You know, did the music glitch stop or something? Like, what happened? And so Hamster's Island Challenge came to an end. Seriously? Just like that? 
The festival to celebrate the birth of Alola's first champion lasted until late into the night. Apparently, because it won't stop! It was so much fun, and I'm glad I got to meet you all. Wait, who is this? These times in Alola will always be my most precious memories. Oh, is this, is this Lunala? No, the next day. I don't know. I have no idea what that was supposed to be about. Could you please let me save? No, there will be no saving here. This is Metal Gear quality long cutscene. Please, I'm begging you, game, let me stop and save. Now I wonder what will happen today. No, let me give you a guess. I'm not going to be able to save. That's what it is. Oh, look, more people are here. I'm playing, was that the doorbell? Oh, it's got to be Kukui. Let's let him in, hamster. Call me champion, mother. Meow. Okay, could I please let him in in gameplay? I'm begging you, game. I'm, oh my god, no, it's hell, hamster. What do you want? It's a disaster, a total disaster. What's wrong, Hal? Oh, Hanny, sorry, evening. What? Oh. I'll explain later, but, but, Hamster, you gotta come with me right now. If you don't hurry, the ship is gonna leave! You know, I can fly anywhere I want to, kid, right? Anyway, hang me out. Gotta go. Bye, Mother. Can I please go in a cutscene mode? Oh. Stop! Make it stop! You know, Lily, Kanto is a long way away from here. Try not to let the jet lag hit you too hard. Wait, we're going to... What? Burn it, well... She said she'd be too sad to watch you go. If you watch out with... Wait, we'll ask but forgive her to hear this time, would you? She did tell me this time to let you loft in the lab of yours. To use this indefinitely... Wait, 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 wait. So you can come back and say whenever you want, Lily. Wait, we're going to... Ki you didn't tell us?! I'm sorry, but I decided I have to go to camp. I'm going to tell my mother to get better. To more than that, I have to get myself concerned. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Me, me, this guy, please. Of course, I'm sad to leave Alola. I won't be. No, no. Let me go. But the thought of going to camp also fills me. Yeah, I bet. Go start your journey as Pokemon trainer. Going to become a real trainer. Meet all kinds. Of yeah, that's right. You know what it's about. Gonna travel all around Kanto just like we did here in Alola for your island challenges. Can I go too, please? And no matter what happens on my journey, I'm going to be okay. Because of the smiles that you share with me, you and Hamster, and everyone here. Thank you all so much. And that's why someday I'll come back again to Alola. But I haven't got to say any of the things I want to say. Whoa, what was that? So, so, argh. I'm going to send you a letter. Really, really long one. You better wait. I will, Hal. Please, take this. Can the game please let me save? Like, that's all I ask right now. Please. I'm begging you. Like, it's ridiculously long right now. Hamster, may have been a little worn, but that is because this is because my most treasured belonging once. What? Oh, polka doll. Well, now I don't want to use it. Well, actually, I never use polka dolls anyway, but still. It was kind of sad. Then I suppose this is goodbye. Wow. But, ugh. Can I not go with you? I got all excited. I got all excited thinking, oh my gosh, this game just blew my mind. We get to go to Kanto. Like, that was like the biggest thing that ever happened in um, Gold and Silver. I remember, like my, if I made my like top five, even top 10, top 20, top 100, I don't care. Pokemon memories of all time, fondest things that have ever happened in this series ever. Is when I was a little kid and I walked over after surfing, after beating the Elite Four, and I moved over, no, not beating the Elite Four, I don't remember. Whenever you happen to move over and the guy stops you and says, hey, you just took your first steps into Kanto, pull up your map. You pull up the map and you see, you have moved from Johto and Kanto was right freaking there. You just went to Kanto and the game is twice as big as you thought it was and you're going to Kanto. Like all the nostalgia of it and your game's enormous. Like. That was the best. Abs that was the best feeling ever. I was screaming. I was so excited. And I thought for a second it was just about to happen again. Hal, I feel exactly like you. Why are you crying though? You little wimp. 
Oh, I know what it's like when you can't help but cry. Why? But, you know, why is he upset? You know, when you're saying goodbye to someone you love, you gotta show him one last smile, yeah? Yeah, I think I want to go see my gramps. Did he really? Yeah, well, let's go home. We got people waiting for us. Our families are waiting for us. There's a Pokeball there I clearly missed. I feel stupid. The chipmunk face ruins everything. Is it actually over now? Oh my god, it's still going! <laughs> Holy cow. Okay, now it's actually going! Holy cow, this game! Holy cow, this game! Hi, Meowth, what's going on? This is gonna be like the longest episode ever. Good thing I stopped it in the middle of the Elite Four at the very least. Holy cow, this is way too long. This is unforgiving. My cow pants, they're the best. I understand, but seriously, I would have loved to say before the Tapu Koko fight. Like, that was cruel and unusual. And then letting the other character go to Kanto, and I can't go. Cruel and unusual. Ah! Ah! Now I'm frustrated. Like, this whole game, I was having a ton of fun, and now I'm just straight frustrated. Meow, go away. Go away. You know, at least, I think it, I, I got this, at the very least. It wasn't Hal that went to Kanto, it was Lily. At the very least, I'd be like, okay, she's trying her best to, you know, somehow fix things with her mother, and that'll be the end of that. What is this? And it wasn't how. That was the thing. <laughs> oh, they got a picture of Tapu Koko in the background. Of course, you know, of all Pokemon, it just happened to be Tapu Koko, who's dead now. And I killed it. Now I gotta look up online before I actually get the opportunity to save. Which is gonna force me to do... No, she told me it was fine. Probably gotta challenge the Elite Four again. Make it come back. And then I go back there. Do I get to save then? Oh my gosh, I don't know. Maybe I get to walk up to that thing, I don't know. But Lily's actually gone, like that's actually kind of depressing. You know, like... I don't know, like I was saying for this whole thing, like... She's the only character so far that... I think they developed really well, and I was like, I want to make sure that, you know... Good stuff gets happened to this character, but I guess, like, I don't know. I hate her mother so much that it really shouldn't have worked out that way. The gumshoes? Yeah, that was our first trial. Gotta say, though, um... Now that I'm thinking about it and I can finally wrap up my thoughts about this game, as a follow-up in the Pokemon franchise of Gen 7, playing in my past of playing every single other Pokemon game, loving all of them, obviously I'm a shiny hunter and I play so much Pokemon, I love it. It's really important to my channel as well. But this one I feel funny about. Like, and it's all from the way I think it started going towards the end. You know, like... The beginning of the game, I think it took off. It was so different, inventive, and a, a ton of fun. I loved it. I still, I still did, did, still do love the game a lot. But um, I guess it's, it's, I'm gonna see how it holds up in post game. See what they offer for you. But um, for the most part, it seemed odd towards the end. Like they got a little lazy, I think, in terms of like fixing some things. Obviously, like even when I was saying, "Wow, these trials are seeming lamer and lamer." Like right when I walk over to the bridge, and I know I bring it up a lot, but holy cow! The fairy captain, who literally just hands it to you and leaves. You know, I was like, okay, they're out of ideas at this point. They're just like, all right, we gotta end this game. We gotta punch it out for Christmas, and that's really what it felt like. It felt like this game got rushed, which is a shame, because there was a lot to it that I think was really successful. You know, it was a lot of fun, like the new Pokemon, now that I'm seeing Wishy Washy here. The new Pokemon they added for this generation, for the most part. I love all of them. They're really cool. There's some that I... Kinda wish didn't exist. But, um, not the wishy-washy. I love wishy-washy. Super excited about the shiny patterns. I know that's kind of a silly thing, but the shiny patterns look so cool in this generation. I was really excited about them as well. The trials and everything of going through a very linear story-based Pokemon was weird and uncomfortable, but I liked it. You know, it was a lot of fun. I, I think, you know, just, um, from the way it was handled, this could be a good direction for the franchise to move in. I thought it was really good. Is that a shiny Marowak? That one looks shiny, because he's supposed to be purple when he's shiny. Or like a bare bright purple, I don't know. Maybe that's not it. Probably isn't it. But still, anyway. 
guess every one of the uh, Kahunas, or not the Kahunas, but the Trial Captains gets their own moment to, um, I guess, have their photograph here. But anyway, like, the whole concept of this game for me still, though, feels kind of like it's incomplete, and I'm not sure why. And um, maybe it's the fact that Zygarde, you know, is being a thing in it and trying to be elaborated now when he really should have been in the last generation because that's when he appeared. And now it's like, oh, we're trying to figure out what to do with the Zygarde thing because we didn't get to do anything back in there. Maybe it's because they wanted to make a Pokemon Z and they never got to, and this is Pokemon Z. And then there's Z moves, which, for the most part, don't mean anything. The Z means nothing. It's just because we all wanted Pokemon Z and never got it. And maybe this is like a mishmash of what Pokemon Z was supposed to be in um, uh, Kalos. And, but instead, we got it in Alola. I don't know, it seems like a corporate decision to smash the two ideas together. You know, like, I don't know, it seems, something came, seemed kind of forced to me. I don't know, but that's just my opinion. I don't want, absolutely, I absolutely do not want to rip on the game at all, because honestly, this is one of my favorite Pokemon games I've ever played. It's, it's still very well done. I think what they did with the HMs was brilliant. Just making it something on command. I was even saying that in the past videos, too, on my Pokemon stuff on my channel. I said, you know, HMs should not be resorted to one Pokemon, maybe two, you keep in your party at all times, just, and they just hold four HM moves and you never fight with them. That's a shame. You know, it's worthless, you know? So that should never happen. But uh, instead, what they did here was great. I thought it was brilliant. Bringing out new Pokemon you want to try and use, you know, just for certain situations. Really smart idea. Um, there's so many cool designs I think they came up with. Um, the environments were really cool. Four different islands. I feel like the four islands thing, kind of more of like a cheap way, though. I don't want to say it as a cheap way, but um, at first everyone heard, oh, there's four different islands? It's like there's four different regions. But to be fair, they're all so tiny, you finish them very quickly. Very, very quickly. And um, especially Pony Island, that was so small. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of backtracking and stuff like that that I'm going to do all over the place, which is good. But um, from what um, some people have told me without spoiling anything about post-game in this game, um, it wasn't very much. Almost non-existent, which is kind of a shame. Um, there was a, I think a, well, there wasn't too much in the other ones either. But um, still, there's like stuff to look forward to and things to do. And I think in this one, of all other things, hey look, it's that fairy. She's right there. Fairy captain. Fairy captain right there. Worst character ever in a Pokemon game. But um, anyway, wanted to say something here. Um, not before I got totally distracted by her. I was leading up to something. Shoot, what was it? I was saying, um, four different islands. Yeah, it felt kind of cheap for them doing that, you know, because it was just, it's still just one region. It's not really bigger. It's like someone said, oh, we gotta make this game bigger and better than ever. And instead, yeah, it's about the same distance around to get through everything. And if anything, it felt kind of shorter. Ha! <laughs> you! Oh, you! Did he ever, ever knock out any of my Pokemon? I mean, cool. He's got a Glyspod. That's cool. But... I had a shiny one before he even showed up. So, whatever. There was totally something else I wanted to say that I'm totally forgetting right now. And, um, shoot. But anyway, um, there's a lot of really cool stuff that they did add to this game that I'm really excited about. But still, it, it felt like a mishmash of ideas that they just kind of put together thinking, we gotta try this for Pokemon. This guy says, we gotta try this for Pokemon. Why not both? Sometimes that's a great idea, and sometimes it just makes the game feel a little awkward, you know, like, incomplete, like, if it's not completely all its own thing, Alolan forms, that's something I wanted to talk about, um, it's not completely its own thing, it feels like it's half of something else, and this game feels half of Pokemon Z, half of Sun and Moon, and I just wanted all of Sun and Moon, I think we all wanted all of Sun and Moon, nobody really wanted, you know, the rest of Kalos to be forcing its way back in here, that should have been handled in Kalos, it should have been. But still, Alolan forms. So, very few Pokemon got to have Alolan forms in here. Obviously, all Kanto. And I think they said the reason behind that was they wanted to appeal to the original fans who stuck with the series for the entire time, which is cool. That's nice. But at the same time, why did you pick the Pokemon you did? Because the Pokemon they picked, if you ask like any of the original people who played it that long, 
I kind of doubt they'd have gone for those Pokemon. Like, you picked some really weird ones. I mean, some of them were more just, like, trying to be funny, like Executor. I loved it because I like Executor. Marowak is a really cool creative one, but in those instances, why not complete their line? Even if it's a simple change and they look identical to the other one, or, you know, just, it's coconuts for, like I said before, for Execute, and, I don't know, just give the Cubone, you know, a little... Maybe not even a flaming bone, just make it look ghost type. That's all you gotta do. Oh, that's disturbing. That would probably kill you, kid. You're probably gonna die. That piggy peck's shiny. That piggy peck is so shiny back there, it has a red head. It's red. But anyway. I don't know. Like, they picked some really odd ones. I liked the Pokemon, but the thing is, there's like other really big ones that still have nothing. You know what I mean? Like. Um, just to throw one out there, like Dragonite, for example. I'm um, just saying, Dragonite, that poor Pokemon, never got anything in the last generations where people were getting, um, Mega Evolutions, you know, in their own unique, uh, alternate forms and stuff like that. That line never got any love. And there's a bunch of other lines like that that are very popular in Kanto that never got any attention. And they picked, like, weird stuff. And not too many alone forms. There's really not too many of them. So... I don't know. It felt like it was almost done, and they didn't get time to finish the game, which was another thing I wanted to point out and say. Apparently, people were data mining this game, and they found that there's walking animations for every single Pokemon. So, they were probably planning on making Pokemon follow behind you, like they did in Heart Gold and Soul Silver, and they cut it. Or they didn't finish, I don't know, but it's not in the game. Mm, I have no idea why, but it's so... It saddens me. That was like my favorite part of that game. Oh, that's just sweet. Everyone's smiles shine so brightly. And now it got weird. <laughs> the smiles led us to so many other people. I really like the story though, with the Cosmog and Lily though. Like I said, I don't want to hammer on this game at all. And the meanings will lead to a bright future. I think they did a great job with that, but that was like the sun half, sun and moon half. I liked that, but. I'm not sure. I'm so glad I got to meet everyone. Oh, is this her letter? So glad I got to meet you. Why on earth would she move with her mother, though? That's just... That doesn't make any sense to me. Pokemon Moon. It just seems so wrong. You know, it just seems so wrong. I feel so bad, like, that should not have... Okay. Can I please save? Can I... I'm begging you, game. Can I please save? This has been ridiculously long. Pokemon Company, Game Freak. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, my gosh. So, still... Um... I wouldn't say it was my favorite Pokemon game. You know, I don't want to go that far, because obviously I was just doing nothing but complaining about it. But I would say, like, it was certainly fantastic. I really loved it. Hey, look, there's that photo! But, um... I would totally like to change my hair and my clothes back so I don't look like a freak anymore. The end. Well, sort of. It's not really the end, as we all know, because there's going to be a lot of post-game, as I've been saying as well. Let's fade that out, and hopefully it auto-saved us or something. There you go. That's all I was asking for. And you know what's going to happen? We're going to get booted back to the main menu, and then we're going to be hit with more cutscenes. And we got to get through them. We got to get through them. Because the, I'm not going to be able to play on this on my own. Oh, thank God. Until the game's over. That was in my room? Are you joking me? Ah, uh, Cena wants to talk again. See, so you collected another Zygo Cube. Each of the core moves are memorized by Zygo Cube. You can teach your minis. Everything's up to you. All right, that's fantastic. That's great. I want to get outside and make sure that I can actually explore and everything. And we're done here. See, I didn't think so. Oh. <sighs> Looks like you slept well, hamster. Well, oh no! Oh no! The salty breeze sang to me and brought me here to you. Wow! Yeah, don't humor that kid. What the heck? Oh, and uh, there's that Cantonian meow. Look at that. Oh, can Cantonian? That's just weird. Look at that shiny coin on your head, kitty kitty. Do the dark ones not have that? Could have sworn they did. I. Did they really not? Finally got my gramps to go all out and be serious and battle against me. Got some sweet rewards, so take this hamster. It's the best shared. Icinium Z. So there are still more to acquire. Uh, 
Primarium Z? What? What's that? So nice to you, Hal. Thank you. No problem, Auntie. Say, is Kanto, like, really far away? It better be pretty close. Yeah, I'd say it's pretty close. Close enough to visit whenever you want to. All right, and it's decided. I'm gonna get stronger than my Pokemon travel and my Pokemon, I'm gonna find Lily. Yes, yes, I wanna go. Your father? Yeah. Oh yeah, him, yeah. He's a strong trainer, real strong, I think, but I guess he's, he really hated being the son of a Kahuna and everything, yeah? So he works far away from Alola these days. So I think I'm gonna go train myself up at the battle tree and beat you, hamster. I'll be the next champion next time I see him. Seems like a nice present, huh? Are we actually going? Stop taunting me, game. I want to go to Kanto. What is a battle tree, Hal? Oh, it's a thing uh, way deep on Pony Island. Anybody who has passed the island challenge or who is strong enough to, anyway, can battle it out with their Pokemon, or so they say. All right, hamster. Let's have the best ever battle at that Pokemon League sometime. No backing out. I got no problem. Sure, I'll take him on. Oh, Whale or Pale! Whale or Pale. I saw it. That's right. Now that's your current champion, everyone's going to want to challenge you. Yes, including Meowth. Who is now sparkling every time we see him speak. And now, can I please go outside and actually go and explore and everything? Is Rotom going to tell me where to go? Because, oh, I thought so. Hey, you. Are you the one they call Hamster? I am? Huh. Certain interested parties sent me here to give you this. An enigmatic card. You open the key items pocket, put the enigmatic card away. You should have a look at what it says. But take care when you read it. No one else is to know the visit of that card. Weird. But now it's been freaking forever. I'm trying to make sure that we're actually done here. Let me check what um I'm supposed to be targeting here. Um, now. It's open game. Thank God, we're finally done. All we gotta do is look at this card. Um, I'm not sure what this is all about, but hey, I, I guess there's no reason, but we should try and do it right now. Mysterious card, written in his request for you to go to a guest room in Akala Motel on Route 8. Now, we're gonna have to remember, that's what we're gonna be doing starting in the next episode. We're going to start doing all the post-game silly stuff next time, if not shiny hunting. Remember, guys, we have that thing to do, too. But either way, it's been a doozy of an episode, and it's been amazing running with you guys for this game so far. I've really had a ton of fun with it. I really have loved playing this game. This has been a really fun game. Just Pokemon game, just like straight up relax and enjoy playing. And I want to focus on that. Like, sure, this game has some weird quirks to it, but for the most part, compared to any Pokemon game I've played, this one is probably the most relaxed one taking some chances stuff that they thought maybe this won't even work but let's try it anyway and i think it was really successful and i've really had a blast with this game unfortunately it is not over yet we have another encounter with that top coco we got to try for too but all that stuff is going to be waiting for post game and i'll see you guys there so thank you all so much for watching remember to like the videos and subscribe for more and i will see you all in the next episode of pokemon moon Boo.